What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So there's a lot of people that are excited about the fact that Elon Musk went on SNL to talk about this thing right here, Dogecoin. You know, he went on there to basically have fun, do as much as he can in order to, um, you know, uh, push the brand, you know, Tesla as well. He had a, a sketch to where he was going to mention Tesla. We knew it was coming. Um, but then also pushed Dogecoin multiple times. Now, I'm going to point out all of the times where he did you know, point this out and also give my reaction to what happened during the day, because if you didn't know, we didn't hit a dollar. So what actually happened? Why didn't we hit a dollar? All of that stuff. Now, before I get started in this, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. Now, um, today's live stream was absolutely phenomenal. It was one of my best live streams that I've had in a while. Um, but it was all for the fact that Elon Musk was going on SNL. And we all know that anytime he tweets about Dogecoin, it skyrockets. Anytime, you know, he talks about it, and especially if he's gonna go on Saturday Night Live and have a potential sketch about Dogecoin. Now, the rumors of him having a sketch about Dogecoin, I mean, that wasn't there. I mean, the rumors were there, but it didn't actually happen. He didn't have a full sketch. I was hoping that he would do something to where he's like the Doge father and you have a bunch of Shiba Inus there and he's just basically, I don't know, doing something, but he looks like the godfather of Doge at that moment. Um, but that didn't happen. So um, we were okay with it as long as he found a way to mention it. Now within his monologue, um, he didn't mention Doge himself. It was um, his mother that mentioned Doge. Um, she said that I hope it's not Doge. She was like, oh, he was like, oh, I have a, a present for you or something like that. I have your Mother's Day gift. And she was like, I hope it's not Doge. Now that could be taken as a negative or a positive. The fact that it's mentioned by anyone right now is absolutely phenomenal. But I think the thing we need to focus on is the movement that we've seen after that. Now we've seen negative movement right after that, the skit after that and the skit after that, we've seen negative movement um, because it wasn't being mentioned, right? One was a pre-recorded skit. It wasn't something that was live. Another one was that was live, but it wasn't something where they were actually bringing up cryptocurrency in any way. Um, they did a Gen Z hospital, which was pretty funny. It just didn't mention anything about Dogecoin. Now, the main piece that we do want to focus on here is the weekend update portion. Now, I know we didn't see a large jump with the weekend update portion, and I'll get into why we didn't see an update uh, to that, but it was, it was huge. I think this was probably the biggest thing that we could see. Now, I said in the live stream in the beginning that all I wanted was that um, Elon Musk would ex explain Doge a little bit more or get a chance to explain Doge a little bit more. And I think this joke, um, you know, spurt or, you know, little segment that they had there was really good because they kept saying, well, what is Doge? And he kept trying to explain it in different forms of, in different forms and fashions, which means that he's able to break it down multiple times. They're asking them, what is Dogecoin? And they continue to ask that. I feel like that's helping the brand understand exactly what is Dogecoin. Anybody that wasn't familiar with what it is, they can continue to, you know, look at what he's saying and understand that it has different definitions every single time. Now, um, some people said it may have heard it, um, just because he's saying that it's more of just like, you know, a push. I forget the exact terminology that he used, but it's more of just like a, a hustle. That's what he said. That was just a hustle. But I think this is good to be able to, you know, call out what is Dogecoin multiple times, talk about it multiple times, give definitions multiple times. Um, and that was the, the main portion that we've seen there. Now, there was one other piece to where they did mention it sort of. Um, it was in this uh, sketch that was like a wild, wild west type of thing or like um, old western movie type of thing. And um, you've seen that he he actually had um, a Tesla um, part of the skit. But the main thing we want to focus on in that skit is he said that we want to create our own currency, which is hinting to Dogecoin, creating that currency, the people's currency. And they asked like what that currency like was, but they didn't go through the whole entire thing there, whole entire, whole entire spiel. But that's also a great point as well, because if we can get to, um, if we get to a point to where we understand that that's a new type of currency, that this should be, this should be a currency that we accept, then that's what we're going to look at as a positive. So all in all, I think it was good. It wasn't what we expected where we wanted to see, you know, the Doge father or see some type of sketch solely dedicated to that. Um, we didn't see that. 
um, we didn't even see um, the monologue, um, you know, talking about that. He did talk about cryptocurrencies in the beginning, but he didn't actually mention a, a lot of it there. So um, I, I think it was really good. I think it was a really good episode. I didn't remember them being that long, but I think it was a really good episode. Now, <clears throat> when we get into the movement, let's look at the actual chart here. So when we get into the movement, we could see that it did get up to 71 cents. And once it got up to 71 cents, you've seen a large portion sell off. Now there were multiple portions to where they did sell off. This might've been um, just, you know, you know, whales, just people that, you know, have a lot of, a lot of Dogecoin at the moment. You know, they're looking to sell that off because they feel like they're not going to be able to capture it and it's just going to go to zero or they got pressured into it. I'm glad that the um, Dogecoin millionaire on YouTube, he didn't get pressured out of it. He still holds his, has about $2 million worth right now. Um, and I think he's sitting pretty. I think he's sitting in a good spot. Um, but we did see this drop down quite a bit down to here and then you see it start to consolidate did pick up a little bit um, but then drop down again and drop down even more now what was the reason for all of this drop down um there was um robin hood robin hood that stopped people from buying um actually canceling orders and doing everything so I think the only option that you had was to sell. Weeble didn't allow orders to go through. Now I tried to put in orders. I tried on the live stream three times to put in orders and it did not go through. It actually failed right away. Eventually I did get through at like 55, 55 cents, um, which was way too high to where I wanted to get into. I would like to get into it at 46 cents, but it did not let me buy until I got, you know, until it got to about 50 plus cents. Um, so like I said, I tried three times. It didn't let me work. So that was the whole reason why you did see that go down. Once again, Robin hood comes in clutch. You know, they're always there to mess up everything. Um, so Robin hood Weeble didn't allow you to do it. And those are the main two places where people are going to buy this. Um, some people will buy it on different platforms, but most people are going to buy it on Weeble or Robin hood. Um, but you did see it recover and all of that. Now, what is my expectation here? Do I think this was good? I think it was really good. I think it was the fact that this is going to be out there. I think that that one sketch or that one skit in weekend update is going to be out there and it's probably going to get a million, two million, three million, five million views. You're going to see it get a lot of views and hopefully we can push that. So I'll try and put that um, down below if you guys want to push it as well. Um, hopefully other people that do push Doge, we can push that um, on their channels um, as well. So I think it was really good. Now, with the movement, as I look into different days that were really impactful days, like 420, where they said that it was supposed to go to 69 cents and it didn't even get close, um, but then you've seen it kick up about a week later, um, maybe even a little bit a little bit after that, but you've seen it kick up just a little bit afterwards. I think we're going to see the same thing. You're going to see the impact of how much Elon Musk actually talks about Doge, maybe new people that get into it. And um, you know, the buying up of a lot of these, um, you know, coins that these bigger, um, you know, um, sellers, you know, sold off on, right. So, or bigger holders sold off on. So I think it's going to take time to actually build up right now. You see it picking back up, you know, back up to 56 cents, um, pushing up to 60 cents. It got up to 60 cents, um, already, I believe, um, but my chart is actually frozen here, so you're not going to see any movement. Weeble has been having troubles, um, a lot of issues throughout the whole entire uh, night. So I've been forced to use a lot of different platforms while I was live streaming. Luckily, people did help me out with some of these platforms. I was using Robinhood, TradingView, all of that stuff. But yeah, I think it was good. All in all, I think it was really, really good. And that's my opinion on SNL. I wanted to play some clips for you guys, but I feel like it will be copyright strike. Um, I think SNL does do that quite a bit. So um, hopefully you can go and check it yourself. I will link those videos down in the description as they do come. Um, I will link the the monologue. Um, I'll try and find that uh, Wild Wild West one or whatever it is, the, the old Western movie type skit and then i'll also look for the weekend update they usually don't post the weekend update until like the next day so i'm not sure that i will be able to put it down there but whenever i um 
whenever it does go live, I'll put it down there. So let me know what you guys think of it. Do you think it was a, a great deal? Or are you still holding on to your position? My overall thought is that I'm holding. I bought more on, on Webull because I want to hold that for a long term. Um, it's going to be a thousand shares that I want to hold it over on Robinhood. I'm holding that as well. That's supposed to be my crypto space, but I think I might just transfer everything over to Webull and just hold it over here too. So um, let me know what you think about it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Um, that's my overall opinion of SNL. I think it was all in all good. Um, and make sure you guys, um, uh, I said hit the notification bell, definitely do that. But, um, you know, join my Discord group or join as a member on the channel. Um, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.